Booba is a British TV series made by Ragdoll Productions, the same boot studio which created Teletubbies. The series started in 2003 and ended production around 2006 after 104 episodes. However, there is one episode that was produced but never aired on television. I found out about this last episode after visiting my local flea market. I was just about to leave when I noticed a DVD case being sold for a very low price. The cover simply had Booba, episode 105, under the episode, there had an orange sharpie on it. Upon closer examination, I noticed that the writing itself was not cursive. Curious about what this so-called episode 105 was about. I bought it for only two dollars. When I got home, I inserted the mysterious DVD to my PlayStation 2 and pressed play. Strangely, the menu screen froze for about 10 seconds. Soon, the opening for Booba played. However, something wasn't right. First of all, it had monochrome colors, and the children you normally see, see during the Booba intro were missing. As if they was, it was as if they were invisible. After the intro, my TV screen turned into white for a few minutes before the episode started. Instead of starting off the boobas, it started the story people. Usually, story people came after the second act in the episode, but not in this one. The story people were, were in what resembled an abandoned missile silo, and they all appeared frightened. Suddenly, a voice that sounded like Christopher Walken said, Press any button to be let out. However, what did the buttons means death? I was shocked that the voice mentioned death in a children's show. Eventually, Anit, one of the story people, pressed the button and it cut to an actual missile being fired at the silo. Soon, the entire complex was engulfed in a massive explosion. I could hear the story people's agonizing screams as they were buried alive, burned alive. After that, I cut to the boobas, but they were all acting unusual. Zumba, the purple booba, looked like he didn't have any sleep for two weeks for weeks, and there was an angry expression on his face. His fellow Booba seemed scared and were worried about what Zumba might do next. I've had it, said Zumba in an alien-like voice. I'm sick of spending my entire life in this purgatory of your powers. The other Booba stepped away from Zumba and he went to his, stay there. Suddenly, Zumba grabbed a knife and longed at Humba, the yellow Booba. He started hum stabbing Humba in the chest. Each time he plunged the knife into Humba's abdomen, the footage became distorted until the static filled up my TV scene. Soon the static cleared to a new scene of Zumba, covered in blood, standing next to Humba's corpse. Yes, he cried in a tone of triumph. I've killed them all. Now I don't have to deal with any of those freaks ever again. The camera would left to reveal the remaining free boobas as I lie down, face down in a pool of blood. The screen faded to black for 15 seconds before it showed Zumba crying to his hands. There was only a low buzzing noise instead of actual sobs. Why did I kill my friends? He said. What drove me into committing this gruesome spectacle? Now that they're dead, I'm going to join them and face my actions. After his psychotic breakdown, Zumba finally realized what he did was bad. I then faced the Zumba all alone inside an empty studio, though the footage was in poor quality. I thought I saw a grotesque creature lurking in the background. Eventually, a scene of Zumba hoisting up a noose was shown. However, I only saw him place a chair underneath before it cut to the most disturbing video clip I've ever seen. It showed all five boobas dancing re resembled hell. Their bodies were covered in bleeding wounds and scratch marks. Tax appeared above them saying, Why did you watch this episode? Why couldn't you watch another episode of us? Now we're suffering because of your selfish mistake. One day we'll have our revenge. In the background, I can hear the Booba theme song quite in reverse. The episode finally ended with a black screen and white text saying, Have a nice day. Then the credits suddenly rolled, with the only crew member being listed as Ann Wood. Apparently, she was the director for this episode. After that, I grabbed the DVD and threw it to my paper shredder. I had nightmares about the, about the episode, and I still do once or twice. So you ever find a DVD, find a VHS or DVD that's out under an episode? Don't watch it.